Mom's had to accept a lot of loss in her life. I think the first loss of her parents was a difficult one. The loss of my father, that's where her loss of autonomy began to show. Loss is a normal part of life and it's not something we can avoid. As we get older, loss becomes an ever-present part of our experience. Our kids grow up and leave the home, we stop working. Over time, we can lose our mobility and sometimes our autonomy, and unfortunately, we also lose loved ones. And with all these losses comes grief. Society doesn't like to discuss grief. The emotions are tough to manage. Without giving grief and loss its proper respect and attention, individuals, caregivers, and families don't have the opportunity to share their grief and find the love woven inside of it. Most people confuse grief with mourning. Mourning is the ritual that one does culturally when someone dies, whereas grief is a feeling, the emotional feeling that it, some people will say it's the price you pay for love. It's not an illness, it's not a sickness, it's not something to be fixed. Grief is something that we feel when there's been a significant change in our life. Mom had to have a major surgery. She had double valve replacement surgery and complications led her on a respirator for six months. And uh, when she came back home, it became our life. That, I can honestly say, was the time where I felt the role change was when I became her bedside caregiver. The rubbing of her arms and, you know, the, the touch was so necessary. And it was just a feeling of heaviness. Another challenge is that the adult child becomes the parent. And that, of course, it's definitely a role reversal. It can be painful. It can be overwhelming to the, to the caregiver. Badass bloodline. Us. Mom ended up being brought back to the hospital in, uh, in heart failure. She had been deemed palliative, and we were told that she was going to have basically two to three weeks of life left. So we decided to take her home and arrange to have her palliative care there. There are many, many different kinds of grief. One of them is anticipatory grief. It's the grief that happens before someone dies. And so if someone is diagnosed with Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, any terminal illness, they start to grieve the minute they get that diagnosis, as do their family members. Anticipating the death is, without a doubt, the most exhausting and difficult thing that anyone has to go through. You watch every breath, you watch every movement of their eyes, and you get into a, a horrible place of Oh, it's going to happen now. Three weeks in, she was still alive. And we all stood by the bedside. And we were talking and reminiscing about the pictures on the walls. And out of a complete coma, she turned around and said, That's not how it happened. She was awake. Loss of dignity was a major one for mom. She was one that was perfectly kept. Her hair was silver hair, perfectly flipped back. She's now having to be changed, to be dressed, to be washed. That was the biggest um, loss. Understanding who a person is and what is important to them makes such a tremendous difference in their overall mental health. So when Jody, for example, goes and does her mom's hair or brings her downstairs to the common room and celebrates her birthday, she's treating her not as the sick patient, but as her mom. We try very hard to mitigate the feelings of loss with her by making things as normal as possible. We speak to her as if she's mom from the past. We don't talk you know, slower, we don't, and we joke with her. When we do that for her and we show her, she feels better that day. You know, there is a bit of normalcy here because for her, there's nothing normal anymore. Grief and loss can be painful, that's the truth. 
but it can also provide us with opportunities to explore our deep emotions and relationships, and this, in turn, can lead to healing and joy.